times. Anyway, enough of the random reindeer talk. We're here to cast and watch Counter-Strike. And as you can see, the score has now popped up. Na'Vi picked up the first map and into the knife round we go. Again, I would say this slightly favours the T side dust too. Now it has gone back and forth over the last decade, really, you could say, of Counter-Strike. But certainly more so in Counter-Strike Global Offensive with the changes to the doors and such. It's definitely helped things out. And, of course, the change to the plant where, originally, for those of you that weren't around a while back, you couldn't plant for short. And then that change came in, and it definitely helped the terrorists out somewhat. <laughs> Sapana. Two knives, unfair cheats, that's true. Shavakim. Shadow daggers, unbalanced. Yeah, quite a lot of warm up. Quite a lot of warm up. To answer the question, I honestly have no idea. I don't know why they're still warming up. I assume they're just trying to, you know, get themselves ready into this game. There was quite a big delay after the first map, as uh, Shox was having internet issues, I believe. That's the reason for the delays. So, after 10 15. 20, 25 minutes, however long it's been since the last map ended. Clearly the players uh, wanted to get themselves back in again. Ma Mahail the Great? Is that? Why was I in Finland? I lived with a Finnish girlfriend for five years. I was with her for over six years. That's why. Shocks is just hiding outside along doors and Guardian goes for the peak straight up mid. Just super aggressive. Gets caught out. A 1-for-1 one one trade definitely going to favour the terrorists right now, especially considering that Edward's down to 10 HP. One bullet will seal his fate. Uh, it's just Flamey over on the B side. So Na'Vi, at this point in time, really are relying fully on that one-tap potential. If you're getting lag spikes, guys, hit the refresh button on Twitch. Hopefully that'll help you out. I'm not dropping any frames on my end. Either way, Scream lands a ridiculous headshot onto Edward, who was sat on top of the site. That grenade could have done so much damage. Did land the headshot anyway, but the bomb is now being planted for the short side. Now the frag's coming back and forth. It is all on that man, Shocks. And he's not going to get anything done. The bomb was planted, so it's a slight saving grace for Titan. They have the option now of maybe saving the next round and getting AKs into the third if that's what they want to go for. So they have options, but it is Na'Vi that are going to open their account first on Dust2. Can't see health bar. Good shout. Always an issue with GoTV. There you go. Has, has been fixed now for you. Again, you just have to hit the escape. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the feedback. Should be fixed for you now. Give me a shout if there's any more issues. PP Bison for Zeus. That is a... Oh dear. I was about to say, it's an SMG you don't see too often these days. It seems to be the MAC-10 or the MP7 that gets picked up first. The UMP even is thrown in as well. So, Zeus on the Bison. It's always interesting to see uh, some of the least loved guns making an appearance. And Shocks, by the way, just got slam dunked. Slam bam, thank you ma'am. In long doors. There was, uh, there was no escape. Guardian looking for the frag onto short. Just gets a bit of info, but nothing else seized. With the spray control on to mid. Smith will be dropping. Existence goes for the peak. He can't get anything done, but there is damage being exchanged between the two teams. And Titan, I said before, they may very well just save into this round and get the AKs next. That seems to be the, the name of the game here for them. And RPK has been picked off as well. So just the one kill. I was going to say, if they could do a bit of da economic damage onto Na'Vi and uh, force them to replenish some of those weapons, it could really hurt them in the long haul. And now the decision is made for Titan. AKs with a scout. Of course, that was always a, an opportunity or a possibility for Titan as Dust 2 really does support those long range weapons. The scouts, the orps, of course. Bit of an orpers playground. So you're definitely expecting to see Guardian and Smiths pull off some crazy plays as we progress through as the later stages here. As it stands, though, it's Guardian Scout that is going to draw first and lands the shot. And looking for that second one as well. Titan dropping like flies. Just shocks and existence left. Now getting some real estate through onto short though. But oh dearie me. I was about to switch to Zeus as he just gets pummeled from shocks. He was coming around from the behind of long. 
So now A is somewhat available for the terrorist, but Shox needs to be very careful here. But he's heard the footsteps of Edward, so he knows this is coming in. Lands the shot there, and suddenly, what was it, a 5 on 2, a 4 on 2? It's now a 2 on 1 in favour of Titan. And whereas Flaming is getting a speed on towards that site, he's going to get picked off anyway. Navi. Dear me, that is a, a rough round to lose from their perspective. It should have been a, a gimme. It should have been a no-brainer. They can still buy. It's going to be an up for Guardian, but this does put Flamey at a bit of a disadvantage. With no Kevlar now. Same for Seized. Super aggressive play through long. Just almost gift wrapping themselves on a golden plate to shocks. You've got two frags from purely aggression plays. Shocks with the close frag. And a second one as well. Seized and Guardian both drop. Pretty big kills there. High impact kills. And Na'Vi may already be just pulling themselves towards that B side. If they've given up the chase on this round. I feel like the last line of defense is Edward. If he dies, they may very well just try and save these weapons. Ooh, the dink from RPK onto his teammate. I don't think it was too much of an issue. I think it was uh, Smith who ate that one. Let's use some flamey last players, and indeed it looks like they will be trying to save these. Who won the first game? Look to the top of the screen, boys. You can see the one underneath an RV. They won the first map, which was Train. 16-14 in the end. I know I need to get a new microphone. I do need to invest in one. Maybe I'll get a Christmas gift for myself. A nice high-quality microphone. Regardless, though, as expected, Na'Vi are going to save these weapons, as are Titan. No point going chasing. Their economy still hasn't built up to a position where they can afford to throw away a few weapons to take out Na'Vi. So, in this round, Titan will still have the huge advantage. Na'Vi only have two M4s. Oh, it's actually an M4 and a FAMAS. My apologies. That was saved from the previous round. Scout. Played in. Seas gets the first frag. What the hell? That must have been through the doors. I was watching Zeus thinking there's going to be a push through long. I was not expecting shocks to get wrecked up through mid. Typically, it's the terrorists that are going to be landing those shots, not the CTs. Oh, that grenade is going to do so much damage. It bounced off the wall right into the face of three players. And although they do get a frag back, make that two a scream. And Existence both chime in. Scream with another headshot. He's hungry for a third. He can't get it done. 2-1-2 two, two now. But that grenade, man, that was that was rough. That was at least 100 HP worth of damage from that one $300 costing equipment. So, money well spent. Now, with 50 seconds to go, Titan could definitely try and mind game Na'Vi at this point. There's a lot of time to kill. And you can see that Guardian is definitely moving as such. Flamey is going to catch Smith as he tries to throw that Molotov onto the site. It does connect. But Flamey still lands that shot. So now, whereas before the mind games could have been coming in, now they really can't. Smith is forced to push on that site and Guardian lands the scout shot and should be able to pick himself up that AWP. Indeed he will. Just in the nick of time. So Na'Vi, who had a terrible buy that round, make it work somehow, some way. Drop the weapons, and they are going to have a pretty healthy buy up here, as will Titan. So again, Na'Vi just trying to cling on for dear life. There's Guardian. Let's keep on with him. I was going to say, a pretty decent spawn. Have a quick peek in mid. Doesn't get any shots off. The flashbang was there as well. It seems to be an A long execute, but... Shox goes out by himself, by and large. The Molotov kept a lot of Titan at bay. Existence just turns his back as the flashbang comes over. A snowstorm descends on both those Na'Vi players. It was Houston Edward, and Existence picks up the second frag with his last bullet. Guardian on the site, though, doing work. One frag comes down, misses his second chance. The taps through from Existence. He can't get it done. And now Seized will be pushing himself around the back. So Titan, again, they're starting to get in circles. Screen, though, does get that frag. Not completely cleanly. And Cease is just charged right in through long. They light up for him. He knocks one of them down. 55 seconds. And it's going to be Scream having to just dart across. He's between a rock and a hard place there. He knew the last player was coming up from short. So really he had to try and make a move for the CT side. They can't fault him for that. 
And just pure timing from Seize catches Titan unawares. And it's going to be a deco. It's been a while since we've seen one of these in CSGO. Or indeed CS overall. But a straight up deco in the purest sense of the word. The Desert Eagle Eco Round. Can they get it done though? Five weapons that can one tap the grenade does so so much damage the second frag from rpk as well you can see rpk has been hurt in the process though and still the weapons are there in place for rv diffuse kits grenades again i'm a tiny bit worried for rv on the basis, they've been spread thin with three players. They almost have to put all their eggs in one basket. They're going for this very split-up kind of approach. They've got a player on one A, one around CT spawn, one on B. They're now starting to realize that it's going to be an A aggression, but the 1Ds are consistently landing for Titan. Oh, is there going to be another one from Shocks? No, there isn't, but Zeus does come in, and Flamey's now all by himself. I think a player just dropped for Na'Vi as well, unfortunately. At the worst possible moment, perhaps. And Flamey in one versus two is landing the next headshot. He pulls himself back in a third. And Flamey gets it done for Na'Vi. But they do lose a lot of weapons there. He's going to pick up the defuse kit. He's got more than enough time. And indeed the AWP as well. He's got enough time to get on that, that site. No problem for him. And there will be a pause in play as Na'Vi pick up their fifth. Flamey the Beast. This does put us in a bit of a sketchy position, though, guys, because uh, it looks like I'm going to have to fill in more time by myself. So how are you doing in chat? How's life? Turn in-game volume up. I've turned it up several times. Do you guys reckon? Does the in-game volume need to be turned up or am I being trolled? Edwin, what's up? All right, it, pretty, it seems like it's be a pretty quick pause. He's uh, right back into the server again. It's good. Okay. None of your business. All right, mate. I was just trying to be friendly. You don't need to hit me in the plums. Turn it down. <laughs> okay. Should I mute it for you? I get no game sound. Is that is that what you're asking? Sweet. So Titan going back to the your standard kind of T aggression here on Dust 2. It's just to feel out mid, feel out short, see what you can get done, and maybe look for an execute as time goes on. The problem is though that Navi have a pretty solid buy-up with an AWP as well, so you could just play into the hands of Guardian. It was running with that AWP, of course, on the A long side. Flashbang out. Smoke is there as well. Player tight on the right-hand side. That's going to be Zeus. And he has been picked off. So that's a, a pretty healthy part of the Na'Vi defense that has been stripped away from Titan. And a second player as well. And make that a fourth. Suddenly just Guardian is left alive. A one versus five. And I don't think he has any interest in trying to just take this site back. He's happy to just back on the way, keep the open play, keep the Kevlar, and be done with this round. What a rough round that ended up being for Na'Vi. Zeus gets picked off first, straight away tight and go right in for the jugular. And the rest, as I say, is history. This is going to be a third round to them. The question now is, can Guardian keep his orb? He misses the shot, and that is going to sign his death warrant. To be fair, even if he lands that shot, he will get cross-fired from that second player, which was Shocks. So not only is it a kill from... Titan onto Guardian, but they pick up the AWP, and they put it in their back pocket, and now are on an eco. Who's the caster? I'm at this. Or Vince, if it makes it easier for you. Dead cow, you're welcome. We have a go to face it studio. I have actually been there before. I went there a couple weeks ago. Well, two or three weeks ago. RPK, we're two frags, looking for a third, does get it done. It's an eco round though for Na'Vi, so take that into account. It's nice control with the AK-47 from RPK, but almost sitting ducks for him to pick off. 
Edward with the USP. Not going to get anything done here. I'd be amazed if he gets this kill onto Shocks. Oh dear. <laughs> that was nearly super awkward. Yeah, I casted um, with DDK and Lurpus, I think it was. Yeah, with DDK and Lurpus. And that was the qualifier games for DreamHack Winter. So the, the event that just came and gone at Yongshipping in Sweden. If you're getting lag, guys, refresh the stream. Hopefully we'll fix it for you. But I think RPK, like some, some of you have been saying in chat, and I completely agree with you, so RPK has been stepping up today. He's been playing pretty damn well. Especially on train. It seems like forever ago now, but on train he was an absolute beast for Titan. And although they ended up losing the map, if someone else stood up to uh, the same caliber as RPK, I think they definitely could have took that map away. Who picked Cash? You what, mate? <laughs> uh, you what? <laughs> We're not playing cash today. In existence, he'll be charging on three. Maybe his use has learnt his lesson. He's not going to be playing the close angle this time on short as he got wrecked last time there. His use up on the boxes. See a lot of players doing this now. Has been that way for quite some time. It's a good way of watching mid. Go TV just had an absolute mare there. He switched away from three kills, but it's not going to matter because Existence does finally come in. The jump shot from Edward. He's picked up one nearly a second as well. Lands the second tag onto Smiths, but drops him down to ten. The spray's in. Zeus finally gets it done. Switches to the AK-47, and now it's a 1v1 between him and Shox. Shox is coming up from CT spawn. No defuse kit for Zeus, however, so he pretty much has to go for this kill. Shox sees it. He gets picked off. And there's enough time to defuse without the kit. And Na'Vi will get it. There's an AWP right next to him as well. So a gift wrap from Titan. And that will go into the embracing arms of Guardian, I am sure. So Na'Vi regain their two-round lead. A very close one-on-one -on -one at the end there. Really could have gone either way. But you can see how important that was from Na'Vi. Because even though they've won that round, their economy still isn't great. So if they lose that round, Titan have a great buy-up. And Na'Vi are back into force buy or even an eco. Uh, crucial, crucial round. The Smiths will pick up the first. These answers straight back though with the AWP frags coming through. Bomb dropped as the kill was landed. Oh dear, Flame he's landed another one. He's looking, he's hungry. He's been picked off from shocks however. The bomb is nowhere near to be so that bomb is not going to get planted for a good 10-15 seconds at least. And this is allowing Na'Vi to wrap themselves around. If Flamey plays this one correctly, he's heard the noise. He could pick up the bomb plant. Well, the bomb carrier, I should say, but it's actually Edward from behind who gets it done. So there's the issue. Even if you do get into the site, that bomb has to be close behind. Otherwise, you get into this kind of scenario where things go horribly wrong. That grenade's going to do significant damage, but Shox lands the shot anyway. And meanwhile, now Seize has managed to maneuver himself onto the site. And this could be easy pickings for him. But it won't be. And my sound's absolutely boned. It's like someone's running, even though everyone's... You what, mate? Did you hear that? It sounded like someone was running right next to him, but no one was close. Just go TV things, I guess, again. Anyway, as all of the, the weirdness and randomness that go TV is throwing at us comes and goes, this 2 on 2 continues. It's used in a pretty solid position to watch the crossover. Seized. Still around B, although he's looking at mid. He's going to go back into... Towards tunnels again, and they do line up for him. The first frag down eight seconds. Are they even going to be able to get this bomb planted? I don't think so. Shox is just going for this one fully. He will get the bomb planted. I guess that really was his only option, in all honesty. And that could be a, a pretty nice boost to Titan's uh, economy. Yeah, you were watching Seas, but the sound was from Shox, who was nowhere near him. So it's uh, kind of kind of weird. <laughs> you, you look like Chris Pratt, but fat. I'm going to take that as a compliment, mate. Chris Pratt is a handsome devil. <laughs> and I am fat, confirmed. Anyway, Guardian is uh, going to be looking up mid, hoping that some of those, those wastes are peeking around the corner.
And Titan have got quite a lot of joy from just playing these slow rounds through mid and, and short respectively so it doesn't surprise me that they keep going back into this there's no reason to go for any fast pushes typically when they've gone for the fast pushes that's when they've got wrecked nice frag from rpk see he did give his position away and was trying to relocate to the back of the side so he was very vulnerable but rpk still had to execute the shot and he did that to perfection so very well played Again, B is looking like the site that could get planted on it. Indeed, it should be. As that Molotov lands, it's going to force Na'Vi to respect the initial defense from Na'Vi. Uh, from Titan, I should say. But the pincer movement is coming in. Edward through the tunnels. That flashbang connects, but he still gets fragged regardless. And now it's all on Zeus. He spotted the first players looking to transfer that spray on the second one. Up, he gets picked off, and Zeus gets them both. Another brutal round of defuse kit and up. Na'Vi will take down another 1v1, and we've already had two or three of those already in the early stages of this Dust 2. Titan are going to be sick to their stomach, and another day could easily be a 6-6, six, 7-5 six, even to them. But instead, Zeus, the beast, clutches another round and gives Na'Vi a four-round lead with Titan on a force buy, including three Tech 9s. A round they really should have won as well. Titan had good positions there. As soon as the player that was uh, flanking through tunnels, I thought he would be the key man. As soon as he drops, I thought, okay, Titan, I got this in the bag. This should be easy. And this is Counter-Strike. Anything happens, anything goes. This time it's going to be the catwalk push. I thought Zeus may be up on the little jump spot there, but actually has moved into CT. So two players watching mid. Just leaving Seized on B by himself. He does have the AWP though, so it's definitely feasible that he could lock down that position by himself. Flame is in prime position to strike, and there's a spray down. Two players fall in quick succession. The bomb also dropped there. It's gone from bad to worse for Titan. And although RPK does have an AK and Kevlar, and he has been a monster today, can he clutch this one? Are we going to see another clutch come to fruition as RPK maneuvering himself around? And there is the answer as the door gets slammed in his face. And now we pick up yet another round. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. So he's performing. Zeus, no huge surprises with the clutches he's pulled off. 16 for 8. But by the way, even with that, he's got 6 assists. So he's been involved with 22 kills. That is very impressive for 14 rounds through so far. Well, 13 rounds. This is the 14th round. A very impressive play from Zeus. Rip clutch indeed. I do definitely feel for Titan today, especially on Dust 2. There's been so many rounds that could have easily gone their way, such is the nature of CS. It is a, a cruel game at times. The milliseconds, the millimeters, they all, they all count. They all start to stack up. And in this case, Titan, they are being completely shut out of this map so far. I said before, I feel this is a slightly T-sided map, of course. It's not unheard of for a lot of rounds to fall on the CT side, and... I definitely wouldn't count Titan out just yet, but they definitely need to get at least five rounds for me. I think if they go 11-4 behind, that could be a bridge too far. Now, this round, not necessarily expecting a great deal, but again, their economy is not great, but Existence is going to land the first flame. He's very low as well. He could be very vulnerable. He's been picked off. Existence just team kills. Scream, I did not see that. I have no idea what happened there. I'd be very interested to, uh, to go back and watch that another day, but is it even going to matter? Because the bomb's been planted. A three on two. Edward and Guardian have the weapon advantage and the health advantage. No doubting that whatsoever. They both have defuse kit. But the issue is that neither of them have grenades to breach back onto this site with. Typically you want to throw a flashbang over and try and draw the attention. That's not going to happen here. So they have to go in for the raw frags. In actual fact they've just tapped out. They say okay we've got nine rounds already. Our economy is not fantastic. As you can see there are a couple of players on zero dollars before this round ends. So no point going in losing those weapons. Let's just keep them. We already have the nine rounds. Let's make sure we get ten. It's a smart play, but a great round from Titan. 
And you can see how important that was for them as well. They managed to win and keep weapons alive and will be able to get a very healthy buy up here. If they lost that round though, it would have been Tech 9 armors almost. Maybe a couple of glills thrown in for good measure. So pretty big. Anyway, Shocks is uh, going to be on a Tech 9. I feel like they had enough funds to drop for him. Yeah. At, at the very least, RPK could have dropped him a Galil. So, not too sure about that decision, but hey. Tech 9 is still ridiculous in the right hands. So now Navi are feeling the pinch. And as I say, Shocks may not even need the Galil. He just runs in with the Tech 9. And he's picked himself up the AWP. He switches to the grenade as sees peak. So he will be taken out. But still, the individual effort from Shocks was massive. And the rest of his team is doing the legwork as well. And that puts C's in a 1v4. Smoke Lance is going to stop his initial push right through here. But because of the time, because of the situation he's in, and because this is the last round of the half, there's no point playing it slow. He goes for the peaks, he comes out second best, and Titan do just about hang on to a sixth round. One sec, just fixing something for you. You're not going to miss anything. Don't panic too much. Relax yourself. It's going to be okay. I believe in you, chat. I believe in you. You can do it. There we go. So, uh, top fraggers. Zeus still uh, out by quite a considerable margin. 16 kills, 7 assists. Whereas RPK, top fragger overall, even though his team find themselves three rounds behind on 17 for 10. Picnic. <laughs> it's gonna be alright guys I believe in you we can get through this together let's hold hands never trust chat OMG I, I typically don't am I playing on the Xbox 360 Xbox one I'm actually playing on the PS1 right now we're streaming from the PS1 so if the if the quality is uh, not up to par that's why I'm playing on an outdated system Who's casting? Should be in the title of the stream, guys, at the top for you. Yay, marry me. Mm. Let's get to know each other a bit first, okay? Before we take that big step. How about that? I think that's fair. Scouse accent. I can't, I can't do it. I actually really suck when it comes to accents. I'm not even joking. I'm absolutely terrible. Especially Scouse accent. No, but it doesn't matter because RPK is just setting this round of light. Two frags. And he's still holding the angle right now. He's Oh, that's so unlucky, that timing. There's a good three or four seconds when he could have reloaded there. And he'd have been absolutely fine. The second he reloads, he gets pushed. Unfortunate, but those two kills pretty much sealed this round up nicely. Have I spoke too soon, though? If Flamey lands this shot on Smiths, the round is back on. It's now anybody's. RPK's early round heroics could be flushed down the toilet. Unless Existence can clutch this one out. Flamey's already got four frags, by the way. He's on for his ace. Existence behind in terms of HP. But he could get the drop because Flamey thinks he's behind. Blue Nose spins back around. Flamey lands the shot. Lands his ace. And Navi take the second pistol round. Which is monumental for them. Wonderful effort from RPK, but Flamey was up to the task, and then some. Oh, just to add salt in the wound, Scream's been tagged on the cross. It wasn't too bad. I think he was legged there from the scout through the wall, so just lose 34 HP. It's raining nades, and Zeus has just caught them. Guardian with the scout as well, and that should be all she wrote for round 17, barring a, a miracle from RPK. And if there's a guide want in this situation, it's him. To be completely honest with you, the way he's been playing today, but nothing he could really do, and now it's all on shocks. The, this announcer needs a new microphone. I do indeed. I will get me at my uh, myself. I can't even speak English right now. I'll get myself a new microphone for Christmas, I think. Hopefully, it's doable for now, though. Oh dear. 
Shots gets picked off anyway. Uh, it's not a huge deal for Guardian. You know, Scout's not the most expensive gun in the world, but you'd have liked to have had it in this round as well when Titan wouldn't have had armor. One hit kill, of course, in the chest and such. This chat is ruthless. He's British, I am indeed. Although loads of people were asking me if I was American, which was quite surprising. Flashes through. Very well placed flashes at that as well. Caesar's got himself a frag, but I gotta say the flashes from Titan were exquisite there. Two of them landed in tunnels and it completely stopped the initial charge from Na'Vi. They may very well still get this round, but when you consider it's effectively a full-on eco that picks up three weapons from Na'Vi, it's, it's not bad. Not bad. Flashes from mid that land towards the tunnels. Very nicely done from Titan, but it's not going to stop the, the juggernaut of Na'Vi from just breaking through, breaching onto the site. And now they do have an open play. Somewhat surprises me that Zeus is going to be using this up. I think it's purely off the base of his spawn is the best you can get for long. So let's see if this works out for them. That flash wrecks him, however. And he may very well throw this to the Guardian. There we go. Yeah, so it's purely off the basis of a good spawn. Has the quick peek. Nothing happens. Picks up the AK-47. Back to normality again. And I'm sure Guardian will be on the prowl to land himself up some frags. Whether that's going to be a reality, though, we're just going to have to wait and see. This is a very important round for Titan. I've got to say, this this is nearly a make or break round for Titan. In the sense that if they lose this, they'll be into kind of force by scenarios and a huge deficit. So I do worry a tiny bit for Titan here. But let's see, Edward's down to four. RPK's been tagged as well. Zeus peeks up, and that smoke, that's not going to help you, sir. If anything, it probably just baited him out, to be honest with you. Smith lands a second frag, so he's done He's done his job for this round. Shocks, I was going to say, if he doesn't get that kill on Edward, that's a massive misplay, because Edward only had 4 HP. A gust of wind would have killed him at that point. So Titan take a two-player advantage with 23 seconds left. They're in a good position to hold this push off. Very nicely done by Shocks. And there we go, our PK seals it up nicely. So Titan, if you pass that test, only lose one player, so it allows their economy to build up somewhat. Na'Vi have the funds to buy again here, although Seized is low. Someone can drop for him, no issues, or he can just go for Tech-9 armor as well with that kind of economy. But Tech-9 armor with a flashbang, if that's what he's into. And there we go, that's exactly what he's done. And again, the tag on the cross. This time it was Existence, and I believe that was an AWP, so legged through the wall. Did he just mouth fart? It's possible. It's completely possible. I've been solo casting now for god knows how long. At this point, I don't even know what day of the year it is. So let's see if uh, we can get any action early on here from Titan. They push up RPK aggressively. There's one frag. There's the second as well. And that's really where the M4A4 shines over the A1S right now in the current meta. After those changes, you get the extra 10 bullets. It allows the spray down to continue. If RPK's with the A1S, he probably doesn't get that second frag. And Titan don't take the, the player advantage and really put this in their favor. So, of course, it's all situational. I can't stress the importance of that A4 there. Nice shot from Shox again. It seems like he's starting to wake up a tiny bit, taking up some of the slack that RPK desperately required on the train. But Guardian does land that one, and now that allows Flamey to push across. If Shox dies, I was going to say if he dies, that opens up the site, and it definitely will plant on him. He was almost the last line of defense. Now it's 2 one 2 next frag is crucial, and Guardian connects it. This is brutal for Titan. They had the early lead after RPK put them ahead on long. But Existence just has to tuck his tail between the legs and run away. And Na'Vi will regain their six-round lead. Existence goes for the peak, and I've got to question that. Their economy's in no place to throw away a weapon like that. Especially when you know the chances are that Guardian still has the open play. My goodness, why would you peak that? 
And at times like this, you'd love to have another M4, or at least any M4 on the battlefield. You can maybe stack the M4 on B, put everyone else on A, and have a real go at this round. But as it stands now, no weapons in play, hoping for this one dig to come in from existence, or indeed from Smith, the only two players that have that weapon. And there we go. There's one of those one digs in. Flaming's looking for another one. And Scream just does the drive-by. 5-7. There's another one dig this time from Shocksman Edward. He is going to put bullets to faces with the AK-47. That being said, though, Zeus is low. And although there's no Kevlar on Titan players, if they position themselves correctly, it may not even matter. Grenade's coming up. Zeus very close to death. Lands the upshot anyway. And Scream pushes through the smoke by himself. Existence wasn't there. That is a very odd decision, I've got to say. Maybe he's assuming there's only one player up mid, and he could catch the player out while he's reloading, which would have been Edward. But it's just pushing up mid with this much time remaining. You've gift wrapped to 2v1 and now favour to Na'Vi. So, in a 2v2, you could split up if you wanted to, put a player on B, player on A, or at least someone around mid and try and control the rotations. Now, because of that kill coming in for Na'Vi on screen... It's a two versus one, and Existence just has to roll the dice and hope it's an A to execute. And you can see there, he's staring at the wall, and people will be like, why is he doing that? It allows him to see both the left-hand side and the right-hand side through CT spawn, so it allows him to have the biggest field of vision. So if he spots a player coming up long or mid, he can react accordingly. Now that a bomb has been planted, he again will just want to save, and that puts Titan really against the ropes. So, Na'Vi will claim their 14th round. Uh-oh. Existence. He's going to hear the movement soon, surely. He's going to hear those footsteps pit the pattering up. There we go. He's heard them. Edward's down. Is he going to be able to repeat? No, he's not. I saw a lot of you saying, why is he looking there at the wall? Because he could see to the left and the right. You could see that from his perspective... He still had vision on catwalk, on CT spawn, and also long. So he put himself in a place where he could have the best possible chance of getting the information he required. And he's, he's in a, such a horrible place in a 1v2 and dust too. Like, he has to just go for broke. Beautiful flash from Titan. Only the one kill, though. Zeus is going to do a bit of damage to Seize, but nothing too, too worrisome. Oh dear Titan, that was a crucial, crucial man on long. It's now split up the defense that much worse for Titan. They're going to keep a player on short, one on long. And so therefore if the flashes connect, existence will be neutralized. There is no doubting this. Unless he can pull off a massive play. There's the first one. Can he rinse and repeat? He's going to go for the repeat two plays and Pit will put him down. The problem is, as soon as he gets that first kill, he's very weary of potential Molotovs, flashes, HEs coming in there. So he almost feels pressured to go for that repeat, and in doing so, it ends up dying. And there is another clear-cut round to Na'Vi. Titan have no economy to play with whatsoever. So it's going to be an M4 and Kevlar. CZ, Deagles across the board. If this comeback is going to come in, it would be a fantastic one. I just can't see it, guys. I want to be optimistic. I want to be hopeful for Titan's chances. I've got to be realistic. This should be Na'Vi taking this 2-0. And in convincing fashion as well. Train was a very close affair. This has been anything but close. But there is existence again with the Deagle. Shock's trying to land his one dig. Guardian misses two shots. That signs his death warrant. You're not going to get too many opportunities when you're against Shocks. As Guardian finds out the hard way. Oh my goodness. It's Deagle heaven. As all the frags have came at the expense of one Deags. This is why so many of the pro players will use this weapon. I personally can't hit a cow's ass with a banjo with a deagle. I, I actually can't land frags with that gun because I'm trash. That's one of the reasons also because a deagle seems ridiculously random to me. But when you see it in players like Titan's hands, they just land everything. It's it's obscene. It makes me feel a bit sick. And I'm sure Na'Vi are feeling a bit sick right now. They've got such a huge buffer of rounds to cry into if they need to. And there we go, Titan have lost their first player of the round. Make that a second in all of these count, by the way. 
They can almost hear the money burning from Titan. Finally, they do take down the last player. But as again, as I said, there's so many more rounds to go. Seven to be precise. This should be around for Titan, however, with Na'Vi very likely just saving up. No point for Spy, you've got plenty of time to bounce back in this one. <laughs> Na'Vi are torturing Titan, it's like they're giving them a chance. They're making them feel like they've got a chance, a glimmer of hope. And they're going to snatch it away again. Well, we've seen crazier comebacks than this in the past. This would not be the uh, the biggest comeback in the history of Counter-Strike, but it would be a very impressive one, all the same. Every huge journey starts with a small step, and that's what Titan just managed to do, get their first... Allow God to have the orb with the Kevlar. That does, however, put Flamey at the disadvantage. But I'm sure if Guardian starts to get kills, he will not care one bit. Shocks there on the close angle on mid. You can hear this movement, you can hear the players jumping up, so the call will come across. Again, though, it's nothing too essential as far as Navi are concerned. This is a very set strap from T sides. Guardian lands the shot on Smith. He'll be bitterly disappointed by that one. The Molotov has connected. Guardian's going to push through the smoke. You may not expect this from a CT's perspective right now. Shock is going to go for that flashbang. Does he see the barrel of the gun just sticking through? I don't think he did. He'd have been very close indeed. And after getting that frag, drawing another player through mid, Na'Vi start to execute through the upper tunnels with the bomb in the hands of Flamey. Only one player stands between Na'Vi and this B site right here, right now. And that was existence, but he's been picked off. And it looks like Titan may be circling the drain right now. They're on life support. How much longer can they survive? If RPK was to pull this off, it would be a 1 versus 5 clutch. There's the second frag. Those were kind of the easier of the frags, however, because now he moves into the lines then with a crossfire set up just for him. The welcome mat has been put out, and Titan do fall 2-0.